What's up guys, it's at the moment Tony and today we're going to be doing a different kind of video. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's 2.08 in the morning on um, June 18th and I just finished up playing some Counter-Strike with my friends actually and I was just thinking about some stuff and I figured I wanted to do something a little bit different today and uh, this is going to be a main channel upload. But uh, I want to do a little story time, a little story time for you guys uh, about a little bit of a personal life situation for me that I feel like I'd like to share with others so that you guys can be able to learn from this and hopefully like you know, now feel a little bit better about yourself and feel a little bit better about life and things. So I have a story for you guys. So um, around the time of December uh, last year, I got into a new relationship and it lasted a good five months and this person that I got in a relationship with was very much different than literally anybody I was in a relationship with. She was more mature, I, I actually enjoyed her family, you know, I had some issues with people in the past and like not liking their families because their families were like terrible and like drug abusing and all that stupid stuff got mixed up with the wrong crowd a little bit but you know her family was nice I, I'm still currently friends with her brother after the breakup and um, you know a lot of stuff is going on you know I, I respect her she's a great person she's smart she knows what she's doing she's got her hair on straight you know nobody's perfect we all make mistakes we all have issues going on and uh, for a good five months I, or four months everything was going right but then something shifted in the fourth month and Things started to go south, and what it led to is, I'm gonna, gonna get down to the specifics here, is it just wasn't working on her end. Uh, it wasn't necessarily what she needed in her life right now. She has other stuff to focus on, like her future, which I completely understand, because you know, you always have to come first in your life, because it's your life. You can't put other people first, because you're the one living your life. You know, it's just you, and it's only you. It's always you. You are always you, and you are always there for you until you die. In which case, it's still it's just you alone. So you gotta rely on yourself. You gotta do things for yourself. And you know what? I understand why she did what she did. But you know, at the time, of course, I'm heartbroken. This came out of nowhere. And you know, I didn't have really a chance to do anything about it. She, we, she called me up, and we were talking about stuff, and then she brought that up. It came down to that, and I was just so awestruck that I didn't say, like, hey, I need to, like, hold on, maybe let's try this again. And I just sit there, and I took it. So then, two days later, after it driving me crazy, I decided to disobey my own advice. And the advice I give to someone after a breakup is don't talk to them, it'll only make things worse, right? I straight up called her. And when I called her, how it went practically was I was, like, holding back tears the whole time. Because this is the most in it I've ever been. So, you know, this is a judge-free zone. Um, holding back tears the whole time, saying, hey, come on, like, let's let's try to see, like, the, the, it can't end this easy, you know. There has to be a way that we can try to work around things. And I want you to have time to think. I don't want an answer right away. And it went a lot better than I expected. So then... Time passed and we decided to meet up in person and talk about it. We met up in person and we talked about it a bit. And the conversation started off just about as I'd expect, where it's like, I understand, but no, I understand, but no. But then the shift happened, and I won't get into too much of the specifics there. But then, you know, she, she got to giving me a shot, and I was really thrilled about that. You know, I had been sitting there dying, seeing her every day, and I'm saying, saying to myself, you know, I should have, should have gone for the chance. I really should have, should have gone for it. I should have just, you know, I should have tried to defend myself. So, disobeying all the advice that I would normally give to someone, irrationally and emotionally only, straight up went for it. And she gave me another chance to try to talk about things we were going to wait until the school year ended. Because this is right at the end of the school year. I'm going to wait until the school year ended to really try again. So I'm just talking minimal in the meantime. Not in person, only over text. And I'm starting to get back in that vibe again. 
But then I noticed a shift in her, and then that day I knew it wasn't going to happen. You know, I got all excited. I thought things were going to really work out. But it turns out, you know, she then changed her mind back. We met in person again and talked about it before we were supposed to. Because we were originally going to meet in person and talk about it one day. And get things back to normal, get things right back on the on the right track. But something was off for her. She explained it. And I realized something, you know. I know, I'm, I'm not trying to downplay this. If anything, I want you to understand the the overplayedness that this whole situation just was. I like this is the most heartbroken I've ever been. Cried my eyes out, you know, like I lost it. And I, I'm trying, and you know, the main thing that I wanted that made me feel so good is that I just wanted to try. You know, I just wanted to try. To, I just wanted to fight. I just wanted to fight for what I wanted. Because I didn't have that chance. I lost it for a second. I'm like, no. Never, ever let go of that chance to fight for something. If you think it's right. Even if it doesn't work. It is better to try and fail than to never try at all. Because honestly, just trying in general, for me, made it so much better. Made me feel like myself again. Made me feel something new. And that's what I've been feeling lately. But we're going to get into that more in a bit. So... You know, I tried, and that made me happy, and the fact that I was going to get her back, that made me happy, but then she decided to flip, and we talked about it, and in the moment in which we were talking about it, I realized, you know what, this isn't right now, I don't think there's a way to come back from this, and I realized that what she was doing, and I knew the whole time, but I really figured it here, is that what she was doing was right for her, and you know what, it's right for me, because I can't sit here in limbo trying to wait trying to work things out I have my life to live too so keep in mind I'm a 17 year old boy and you know we're not fully matured and that's something that she keeps bringing up or kept bringing up and you know I don't think we ever fully really mature I mean there's sometimes where you know even adults act immature because they try to relive that part of their childhood and a child for less than six months and I'm gonna try my best to live it to the fullest you know live with the time that I have so in conclusion here's the moral of this little story time you know her and I are civil I have no hard feelings against her if her brother is watching this because he's a subscriber and he's also somebody that I play video games with quite often hey buddy how you doing (laughs) um but the thing is is that you can let a situation affect you, of course. And, you know, it showed that I really felt something with how I reacted and the fact that I went to fight for it. But, you know, I went against my own logic and reason where instead of not talking to her, I straight up called her. I straight up went at it. And I fought for what I thought was right. And you know what? That fight... That me going for what I want, trying my best, you know, that makes me all the better man. It makes me feel like all the better man because I know what I did was right for me at that time. I knew that it was right for me to stand up for myself in this situation and try my best to make things right. Because I know that I have it in me. I have the will, you know, to try and make these things happen, even if it doesn't work. And worked for like three days. But that doesn't matter because it worked for a second. And the fact that even if it didn't work, I still I put in the effort. I pushed myself and I put in that effort. And I think I did an amazing job whether it worked or didn't work. And it shows a level of respect, not only from me, but from her too, with how she handled it. And that's what's so great about it is because this was just all just so grown up. And, you know, the timing kind of sucked. My finals suffered a little bit. I came to studying, but... You know, in the end, it's really worth it because every relationship you're in is a learning experience at bare minimum. Every relationship is a learning experience. You learn about yourself, you learn about the significant other, and you learn about others around you as well. You learn about what you like and what you don't like, how things work and how some things don't work, how people react to certain things. There's so much to learn. That's why I really encourage dating in high school. You know, I think it was 
was one of the best ideas. You know, I had several girlfriends in high school. Of course, now I'm, I'm about to be a senior, so there's no point because I'm going to be off to college. So there's no point in trying to get attached to something now. And I'm just going to, like, flirt around a bit, I guess. And just put my foot in the water and live my life, have a good time, but mainly focus on myself. Focus on my passions, you know, my music. I'm releasing an album this summer. You know, I'm going to be focusing on YouTube. I'm going to be putting out videos. I'm going to be streaming. We're going to get big. We're going to pass 1K before summer ends. That's my plan. I want to get, or at least as close to 1K as possible by the end of this year. That'd be perfect. I'd love to do that. I want to keep this going. You know, focus on yourself. So, a lot of life lessons are coming out of this. Right? And, reminder, this is uncut. It's 2.19 in the morning. So, give me a break on some of my speech tones and, like, all that. But, one thing, or a few things that you really need to take out of this are fight for what you love. And fight for what you believe is right. Even if you know that it's not going to work, it's best to put in the attempt because you never know what's going to happen. I had no idea that I'd get an ounce of a shot, even if it didn't work out. I had no idea. I had no intention of it working, but guess what? It did just for a second. And, you know, you never know when something like that's going to happen. Another thing to keep in mind is that every relationship that you're in, whether it's high school, whether it's college, whether it's when you're an adult, old person, a young person, every relationship is a learning experience, even if it didn't mean much and if it didn't last long, you learn something about yourself, about what you like, what you don't like, how you, what they like, what they don't like, you know, how things are reacted to by other people, you know, you learn at least something, at bare minimum, you take away an ounce of new knowledge, if anything, you learn a lot, especially from longer relationships, you know, and another thing is to always put yourself first because you are the only you. It would be foolish for you to only put others in front of yourself because you are you. To put others in front of you, you have to be you. You can't let yourself suffer or else you'll be bad at putting others in front of you. So of course, always care about other people. Always do your best to help others. That's something I've dedicated a lot of my life to, is helping others. I have a problem where I put people in front of myself way too often, and I've fixed that, and I've focused more on myself recently, and I've been feeling like my best self. This is the best I've felt in years. You know, I felt more confident about myself physically and mentally. I feel more creative than ever. And I just feel happy doing what I do on a daily basis, no matter what it is, whether it's my job, whether it's YouTube, whether it's music, whether it's just chilling with my family, you know, it's a fantastic experience, this thing called life, everything is what you make of it, you gotta hold on to your life, you gotta have the will to mold it to be what you want, everything in your life is in your control, even the things that you really can't control around you, you control how you react to it and how you let it get to you if you let it get to you. It's all in your hands. You are the most powerful person in your life. Never forget this. Never forget this ever. This is the end of my little motivational talk, my story time. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like. Maybe I'll do this again. I have a lot of stories in my life. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is At The Moment Tony, signing off.